Hi, this is Dr. Matt Eschler coming to you with the second video in the four-part series that is going to talk about defining your needs for your partner. When married folks get together, they start this, this process of communicating, getting needs met. It's wonderful. And somewhere along the line, a lot of times we forget to update each other on our needs list. In fact, some people get embarrassed to share needs. Some people think that it's wrong to have needs, but it's very healthy and it's super, like super positive to have needs and also to define and explain those needs to your partner. This second clip is all about that. You need to understand your needs to be happy. I want you to think about that. Everyone has needs. This is a principle. We all have needs. It's, it's mandatory. Um, there are so many of us that, that are afraid of our needs. We're afraid of them. We're afraid to have needs, express needs. And, and quite honestly, there is uh, somewhat of a gender difference, it seems, in that where it appears easier for men to express their needs than for women. A lot of times in my office, I'll ask the couple to take turns and just tell me their top five needs to be happy in. And it, it, it's, um, a lot of times the men can rattle off top five needs pretty quickly and and moms, a lot of times, will say something like, um, well, I just need my kids to be happier. And I said, well, that's a great, a great want, but I want to know what your needs are, your very personal needs. Like, what makes you smile? What makes you feel joy, happiness, peace? Those warm, fuzzy, romantic feelings. What is, what is required? What do you need for that? And, and that'll help us understand what isn't juicy and, and sexy and fun for you. And so all of you out there that are listening, I want you to think about what are your top five needs. And you want to look at it like a computer monitor that you can scroll forever. And there's needs, needs, needs. Like needs number 6,472 for me is to have my toast cut diagonal, not straight across. Because, you know, when you cut toast diagonal, there's equal crust on both sides. And so you don't have one side with a bunch of nasty crust and the other side not. So you cut it diagonal. And so that's need number 6,472. It's not need number one it's not a deal breaker in a relationship and and it makes it just makes a little tiny smile appear on my face and so what we need to understand is with each other our top five or ten needs are generally not negotiable they're generally needs that we actually really thrive when we get and suffer when we don't and so it's important that we share those needs with each other. So one of the assignments that I give couples is to understand their top five to 10 needs and understand how to define them so that they can really explain them. Now, part of an attachment concern would be needing or having to have you meet all my needs for me to be happy. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is a healthy expression of your needs and then trust that your partner, your lover, will serve you during the week by, um, by remembering those needs and meeting them uh, as often as they can, as often as they can work that into their busy schedule and their agendas. And you just trust that because they love you, they want to serve you with their strengths and, and their talents, and they'll find ways of getting those needs met for you. Most often, needs are not ignored, most often they're misunderstood. So having a clear definition of your needs and then express that um, is super important. We all have needs. We all have thousands of needs and it's healthy to have needs. And needy people demand others to meet their needs and expect others to meet their needs. People that are easily offended walk around looking for people to not meet their needs and then, and then they feel offended because they feel like they're entitled to it. Anxious people sometimes get caught up in a like, you're the only one that can meet my needs, and so you have to meet all of them, and it makes me fear-filled when you don't. We're talking a super healthy, I recognize I have needs, I can express them, and I can also work my way through them doing self-care, just really enjoying it when you um, take time to serve me by meeting them. That's healthy. So needs, understand your needs list. Hey, this is uh, Dr. Matt Eschler. I'm super happy that you've made it this far. Keep going, there's link number three down below. Go ahead and click on it and watch the next one. You can take a few days if you want, but please get to it.